Hey Chris, go from Hey Guys, yeah. nice to meet you. Nice uh, congratulations on the on Thor and everything else. How liberating has it been for you as an actor to, to spend so much time with this guy? Because he's been on such a journey over so many years. It must have been so liberating and so freeing for you as an actor to do so many different things. Yeah, it was, it was. Um, especially, you know, I, I, after sort of the two or three times doing it, gathering that bit of that confidence. And I mean, this is my first sort of, not just time being an Avenger, but one of my first real jobs and, and the biggest things. And so I was very much at the mercy of the filmmakers and, and, and gave gave myself over to their vision. Whereas by the time I got to say Ragnarok, I sort of thought, okay, I have a bit more confidence to sort of creatively say, this is where I think I should go and this is what I think it could do. And then a director, Taika, had the same vision. And also I think that the fans were ready for something different and, and tonally we did a big shift. And then in this one, the same thing, you know, um, it was so satisfying to come in and and think I had the new version worked out and then realise that, you know, collaborating with these guys, they had a, a completely, uh, you know, another another level and a completely new idea, which was refreshing again. And so, unlike any other experience, you getting, uh, you know, to revisit a character and have another shot at it is pretty special and a lot of fun. And even though we haven't seen the movie, we find him in quite a dark place in this one. You know, he's yeah. he's, he's hurting from what happened in Infinity War, what's happened yeah. previously at Asgard and everything else. I mean, how, how was that to play him in that particular moment? Uh, I think for all of us, we're sort of at our lowest point. You know, there's a sort of sense of that that's the survivor's guilt and, uh, and the, you know, what should have been done and what we could have done and what if and so on. And so there is a different sort of, um, I think, sort of drive in this than you've seen before. You know, the, the, we'd never lost and now all of a sudden we lose and it's so sort of, sort of all bets are off and we have one last crack and we're going to see what happens. Thanks so much for your time, man. Thanks. Pleasure. Cheers. I haven't seen the film, no. Are you excited? Uh, I'm excited, yeah, and I only read my pieces of the script. All of us were given our pages for the, the script, and I think obviously intentionally, and, um, and I'm as enthusiastic, and I feel like a fan of this whole experience. I'm looking forward to the premiere to see it myself. So. I was going to say, what did you do after filming that? Did you go out for shawarma at all? <laughs> I think I jumped straight in the plane and went home and repacked my bags and jumped on to the next film I was doing. Um, and I was just thinking about this the other day, that... I didn't really sort of soak up that moment that I'd wrapped and that, you know, what I was a part of. And it's really starting to sink in now on this press tour. I think for all of us, realising this is, could be the last time we gather like this. So, um, you know, just soaking up every moment and enjoying it, yeah. It's kept to be one of the biggest selling films and the biggest box office film ever. Is it your biggest uh, paycheck ever? <laughs> um, did all right, yeah. <laughs> how are you going to spend it? Oh, I don't know, mate. Um, <laughs> how do you spend your paycheck? <laughs> yeah. Did you take any mementos from the, from the set at all? Um, I did. I, I took Stormbreaker, the weapon that, that Thor has in this. Yeah, I've done that each film. I've taken a costume. I've taken one of the Mjolnirs or a couple of the Mjolnirs and one of them. So it's funny. My kids have a, a toy one, and then I saw one in the toy box the other day, and I thought, oh, that's the toy one. It was actually the real one, and they'd sort of taken it off the wherever it was positioned in the house and so it's slowly being destroyed. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen it but I mean, you know, twenty two films worth and ten years of film making, um, how could it not be, you know, and, and everything I've heard uh, has just been beyond satisfactory and, and, and so yeah, I'm I'm pretty excited to see it. Yeah, I'm just I mean, you know, look, beyond this film, none of us really know what Marvel have in store for any of us, and regardless of you know how our characters end up in this version, you know, there's, there's always prequels, sequels, or whatever. But this is the, I think, a very fitting sort of wrap up for this, you know, this culmination, and um, it has a bittersweet quality, you know, just more so realizing that I probably won't ever get to gather with all of these people ever again, in, you know, like this. And, um, and but it's just been the best experience I've ever you could have asked for. So. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Is that from the Goonies? Nice. Hey!